Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Lover Pretend. The last part of Lover Pretend. I know, I kind of thought last time was going to be the last part, but we kind of ran out of time doing all of these, and honestly, I kind of wanted to take our time with the voice acting and all that stuff like that. Plus, again, the weird, like, I don't know. Just me being like, I ending it on part 54, man. Now we're going it on part 55, and that just feels so much more like cohesive to my soul. <laughs> like, really stupid thing to be bothered by, but it would be like, damn it! I 54 is an even number, but like, whatever. Um, I have to turn my volume down, it's too loud, but yeah, so we'll do the last few, um feelings parts my freaking volume won't stay down holy goddamn shit we're part of their okay good thanks um and then we'll click on and do the voice acting and do that in their bio things because we can listen to them talk and stuff so anyway Kazuma's feelings featuring Kazuma which is where we'll get a last CG for Kazuma oh wow oh that's I think me oh wow this place is full of couples One, this is one or the other of us. I'm not sure. Makes sense, given what the movie's about. Whatever, it's fine. Still, this is a bigger turnout than I expected. Most of the seats are taken. I guess this means that it's a movie that couples can enjoy. Not sure who's who. I really, that's the only thing I hate about these, is that you don't know who's speaking. Anyway, I wonder what it's about. I can't wait to see since I managed to dodge all the spoilers. Huh, <laughs> me too. Enjoying movies without knowing anything, without anything going in is the best. Spacey's excited, so I guess it was worth it to ask Yukito. He sure knew a lot about it. Hey, Spacey, look at those two. You mean the ones who look like teens? Yeah, they look so nervous. How innocent. Hey, stop staring at people. From everyone else's point of view, we're no different. Wait a second. Oh, that was me saying, from everyone else's point of view, we're no different. Sorry. W wait a second. She thinks we look like... a couple? So you're as nervous as they are? <laughs> yeah, so what? I've never been on a date, never mind seeing a romantic movie in theaters. Of course I'd be nervous. Shoot. This is pouting so dang cute. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm nervous too. Really? Ugh. What did I just say? Um, okay, but, like, didn't we have this scene? Like, so it's really weird why his feelings would be, and then... Well, okay, I know, that's true, because with Asagi's, it was a scene that we had, but the CG wasn't... And actually, the I thought the movie theater scene that, like, CG we had was in Makino's route. Hey, hey, it's starting! Phew, not just a bullet there. Now then, let's see what's so great about this movie. I'm more interested in the wardrobe and makeup being used, but... I like how there's like, toot 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 Huh? Huh? <laughs> there's a lot of freakouts with the exclamations and question marks. Wh Hold up! The heck is this movie? We're only ten minutes in and there's already been two kissing scenes? Yukito kept telling me to avoid the trailers and reviews, so I was a bit suspicious, but... There are many who love you more than you expect. I'm assuming that's from the movie. See, look right next to you. I'm sure there's someone who loves you from the bottom of their heart. Next to me? Uh, damn. Thinking about her making my throat dry. I'm sure that's all it's doing. Better drink something cold and calm down. Kept my eyes on the screen and filled the space between us trying to find the cup holder. Or, th doesn't this CG feel familiar, though? Definitely not that face, but is it a second version of the same, you know what I mean? Like, uh, th this hand is Spacey's. Glanced around a bit so that no one else would notice, or rather, that Spacey wouldn't. I love the look on his face, though, it's so good. 
It just feels very familiar, though, but, like, I don't know, anyway. Tracy looked nervous, but it also seemed like she was uneasy with what was on screen. I think it's because, I swear, we had a movie theater kind of one, but I think it was with Makino. Or when we went to, like, like a presentation at an anime convention or something. I, I feel like it was with him, but... I don't know why it's like, huh. Anyway. Slowly so looked down and saw I did indeed have my hand on hers. McGee snapped forward in an effort to stay calm, but what was playing on the screen wasn't helping. Right. I was trying to find my drink so I could calm down. Crap! It's nothing but love scenes. I bet Yukito suggested this on purpose. As the characters on screen made out, my senses started to focus on Spacey's hand. Touched your hand plenty of times before. And now it feels so warm and soft. I bet it's how those lips feel during the kissing scene. Huh? Oh, that's me. Huh? Ah, hell, did I squeeze too hard? I wonder if she wants me to let go. We're supposed to be a couple now, right? Yeah, it's an act, but... I guess I could do it a bit more. Just give her hand one more squeeze. I like how awkward he is. It's still adorable. The movie suddenly reached its climax as the characters fell on top of each other in bed. Wait. Daisy, did you fall asleep? Seriously? Through all the embarrassment and stress I've been going through while holding her hand? Oh, you really fell asleep in the movie theater. Yeesh, at least you can relax. At least you can relax. Can't imagine how nervous I've been about our first date. And again, I guess it's for the best. She won't know what I had to endure if she's asleep like this. And I can enjoy the warmth of her hand until she wakes up. Were we closing our eyes because we were like, don't look, don't look, don't look? I can't quite remember. Yukito's feelings. We'll go check out the CGs at the end. The day after the Tantan magazine shoot... I'm a bit drained after going the extra mile in yesterday's shoot. As I did my stretches and thought about the day's shoot, my gaze fell on Spacey as she ran around the set. Shoot, 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 shoot. He said that way too many times so far. Three lines, three times. She saw me nude in yesterday's shoot, but it didn't seem to phase her. I was so sure she'd be flustered or something. Well, they say nude, but it was like his shirt was unbuttoned. He still had pants on. I guess this is just a random person. Your job here today will be photos and an interview for the magazine. Oh, no, that must be me, because were we acting as his assistant or something? I'm going to pretend it's me, because I think it is. Your job here today will be photos and an interview for the magazine. After makeup, there'll be a briefing before the shoot. They'll finish with the interview. It's about time for your makeup session, so they should be calling us soon. I guess that's fine, but... Okay, got it. Oh, about the next job, though. I felt about both relieved and disappointed. I took a step towards Spacey with my emotions in a jumble when... What? Did she just avoid me? Yes, what about it? Who what's with that weird smile on her face? Hmm. Yeah, uh, the person I'll be appearing with. Let's see what happens. I took another step to close the distance. What? I knew it. She didn't seem unsettled, but... My dwindling hope was rekindled anew. I forced down a smile and made a show of tilting my head with a bewildered frown. Hey, Spacey, is it just me or are you avoiding me today? <laughs> I wonder. I mean, you're... At the end of the day, this is just a scandal countermeasure. A scandal countermeasure? I always say she's lying. Yes, you tend to get physical with people and it's bound to cause a misunderstanding, so I'm taking precautions. We can converse easily- Oh, we can converse easily enough without you being so close to me. It's perfectly normal. Hmm. She's not being honest at all, but she's just as cute putting up a front like this. But still, I'm a guy and I like seeing your vulnerable side too, Spacey. Let's get going. It's time for your makeup- Just then, I seized the opportunity and quickly made my move. Spacey! <laughs> She made a noise unlike any I'd heard and quickly wriggled out of my arms. Just as I thought. What the heck do you think you're doing? 
She was blushing furiously, obviously both enraged and mortified. She was totally bent out of shape. It wasn't hard to tell that her emotions were out of control. Well, it's not like I've never been nude in front of the camera before. Most women who've seen me in the buff change how they treat me, but in a good way. Her reactions are actually refreshing. I can really tell Spacey isn't used to men. I mean, okay, so the CG, he was just, like, the shirt was open. But I'm wondering if, like, was the shoot actually fully nude? Or was it, like, you know when they say, like, oh, it's a nude photo shoot. But it's, like, you're covered up still and it's just the impression of nudity. You know what I mean? Oh, they see me nude and it's, like, we didn't really actually see him fully naked. But it would still be awkward. You know what I mean? Like, if you walk in on someone and it's like, oh, they're just in their underwear, it's kind of awkward, but it's not naked. You know what I mean? Like, so it is kind of confusing when they say, that obviously, the CG is where we're going to show anything. That was, like, rude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, like, it's not even like he had a shirt off. They still had a shirt on him. You know what I mean? It was just unbuttoned. So, like, if they ha if the CG had been, like, without a shirt on, and then there was a girl, and you didn't see anything but, oh, his chest and everything, then I would have been like, okay, maybe he was naked, but, like, you know, something's covering his bits. But we still just, I could see your hip, and you weren't wearing anything, you know what I mean? So, it's weird, just the turn, they keep using naked and nude and buff, and it's like, but you weren't fully naked. And even if you were supposed to be fully naked, and it just wasn't the CG, I just the way they would have posed you, it wouldn't be, you're not actually, like, penis out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this isn't a Playgirl magazine, you know? I don't know. I don't know what this magazine is. I mean, it's a fake magazine, I'm assuming. But, like, you know? But I was assuming it'd be like, oh! Like, they're nude. But it'd be like, okay, if you have, like, when women post nude in magazines all the goddamn time, it's like, okay, you can see your hip and everything. You can't see your vagina. You know what I mean? Because it's, like, hidden. And you might be wearing, like, nude panties that they just airbrush the, like, side out. You know what I mean? Or, like, oh, I'm going to sit there, like, I'm not maybe topless, but you're covering your nipples. So it's, like, you're not really actually, you're still seeing boob, but you're not really seeing boob. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he would have been covered, even if you were, like, I can see your hips, sir, and a bit of your cheek. But you know what I mean? It's not, like, holy fucking shit, you walked in and you saw his penis in your face. So, like, but it's just weird. Because, like, I mean, I guess if we're supposed to take it that he was, like, you know, oh, just hiding some things. But, like, oh, you're going, oh, you know, a little sauciness. But technically, yes, that would make people act differently. Especially in Japan, I'm going to guess. Because I don't think there's, I would say that that's kind of an exception. Not like here where, like, oh, hi, we're selling car, or we're selling a hamburger. So I want you to just basically, like, hold the buns over your nipples. That's how we're going to sell this burger. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, where you're like, eh. So, I don't know. I'm guessing that it's more like, okay, maybe he was, was supposed to be a little bit more than the way the CG showed. You could have just taken the shirt off in the CG, though, and it would have just helped me get it. You know what I mean? Because then I wouldn't be sitting here like, it's semantics, but, like, it's bothering me. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. Anyway. And that said, well, you've got it bad. I better come clean with her for both our sakes. I had to talk to her about it. She backed away and, oh, she backed away and up against a wall, which I leaned against with my arm, boxing her in. This is a CG. Come on. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yes. Pin me to a wall. Oh, my God. He's so beautiful in this. Stop it. My God. I'm kind of sad we didn't read these feelings ones at the end of their routes because this is a beautiful CG. How dare you, sir? Like, Cosmos is cute because he's all awkward and stuff, but Yukito's is, like, hot because he looks beautiful and also, you know, I like it when they pin me to things. Again, Cosmo, I loved his route, but you pinned me against that fish tank in the aquarium and I was, like, sold. Never expected the childhood friend to be a route that sold, sir. Hello, come on in <laughs> to the man harem. Wow, that sounded inappropriate. <laughs> Everything I say is. <laughs> oh, good lord. Hey, Spacey, I know you saw me in a pretty risque position yesterday. And that look, and that was just for work. If you put up a wall between us so abruptly, well, it 
bit shocking and kind of problematic. It was putting up walls. Like I said, this is just a word off scandals. I can't get enough of her. Oh, what? We're at the studio, though, and there's no paparazzi here. And plus, isn't the point of you being with me to fend off Kirari? Aren't we supposed to look like we're close and cozy? I deliberately inched my way closer to her. Oh my god, seriously, pin me harder. <laughs> I don't usually want to tease someone like this. Stop messing around! Huh. I'm being totally serious right now, sweetie. I almost broke into a smile when... I forget who this was that came around the corner. Was it Kamakubo? Why do I call him that? Why is, was it Kam is it Kazuma? Hey, is it you, Spacey? Oh, Yukito. Kazuma! It was Kazuma. Woo! I just... It just... Okay, it's not because I remember, because I don't. Because it's also weird, this is like his side. And we had this conversation as well, but then we didn't get the CG. So it's interesting the way they do this. You know what I mean? Especially because like Asagi's was like, we left him the food. And then we left and then he had a moment to himself. And like with Cosmos, it's like right in the middle of that scene where we're at the movies. You know what I mean? And this is right here. And I'm pretty sure this happened... I can't quite remember the scene, but it's like, so it's weird that right in the middle of the scene, there's a CG that we didn't get to see on from our perspective. Well, I mean, when we were reading our perspective of it, you know what I mean? So, like, I don't know. At least with the Asagis, it made sense. It's like, here's the little scene that we read, that we shared together, then we leave, and then we have his aside when he's by himself. That's kind of what I was expecting, I guess, all of them to be like, but they're not. It's like, straight up in the middle of the scene that we read, his perspective of that scene, and then we get a CG that we didn't get to see at all, which is kind of like, that's not fair. <laughs> but it's slightly confusing. Anyway. Of all times, he has a knack for appearing out of nowhere. Oh well, there goes my chance of seeing my cute Spacey all flustered. Too bad for me. Although I may have come on a bit strong. She was still blushing. I knew why, and that knowledge alone was worth the effort. I'll let you off the hook this time. But next time... I smirked and walked up to her as she hid behind her protective friend. It's kind of almost predatory in a way, like, oh yeah, I'll get you next time, Spacey. I walk up and she's hiding behind her friend. It's like... But it's because we have feelings for him and we're like awkward around him because we're kind of attracted to him, whatever. But like, it comes across if you don't know that you're just reading this like, oh, I know why she's blushing because she saw me naked, but I'll get you next time. It's like, you could totally read that in a very inappropriate way. Anyway, Harumi's feelings. With Harumi. Let's end it here for today. Finally free. And now that the cast list is out, it's only going to get busier. Oh, somebody. I don't know. Okay, I have no idea who's... I hate it when they do this like this because you don't know who's talking. Anyway. I don't know who's saying, now that the cast list is out, it's only going to get busier. Get ready, Harumi. Someone's saying that. C cut it out. Could you please stop ruffling my hair like that? Okay, it's Hanai. <laughs> All we needed is this line to tell you, like, it's gonna get we're busy. Get ready, Harumi. Was the t uh, Hanai because only Hanai would do this to Harumi. Nope. Request tonight. This is my way of cheering you on, you know. Cheering me on. Yeah, you did some great work during the finals. Cast list came from that. I didn't do anything special? The list came together because everyone pitched in. Okay, so it is okay. I sometimes I gotta see the line before I figure out who it is. Gotta admit, still surprised you're going out with her. Here I was, still thinking of you as a kid. Stop joking around. I'm an adult now. It's not unusual to have a girlfriend at my age. Until we see you five years later, and that's the Harumi I want to date, because he was beautiful. You're adorable, Harumi. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed his route, but he's still a little too sweet-faced for me. But I'll take five years from now, Harumi, because, like, um, bam! Hot and a nerd! Listen, I'm simple. 
You got a hat and a vest? I'm here for it. You're a little bit of a nerd? I'm here for it. You put glasses on? Forget it. I'm automatically sold. I think it's rare when I'm like, ah, oh, the glasses character is not my favorite. Because usually that's the selling point. They're all hot. You slap glasses on them a million times hotter. It is rare when I do. Like, there, I think there have been times in games where I'm like, the glasses character is not my favorite. Odd. Odd. But, like, 98% of the time, glasses. Pin me against a wall, down for it. Pin me against a wall with glasses? I'm dead. I'm gonna literally die. Looking at you, Van Helsing. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Okay, you know, if you're an asshole wearing glasses... I swear to God, Kent from Amnesia really did a number on me where, like, apparently I hated him and I don't remember it. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here to remind me of the shit. And then, but, like, now I'm pretty sure he's decided all my love interests because if they're... They've got glasses, I love them. If they're assholes or robots, I love... Those are my... That's my type. Glasses, asshole, glasses, robot, glasses, asshole, robot, like, right there. It's like a fucking Venn diagram. Every once in a while, I like some of the other ones, you know? I do kind of like the flirty whores a little bit, too, but that was, that's an icky thing. Because he was my first eyeball love, being like, you, I love you, you sexy bitch. And then, you know, and go figure, same VA as Chuya. From Bungo Stray Dogs and Natsuki from Utano Prensama. And I love Natsuki. He's. Well, if you've never watched it, I highly recommend you watch it because you can't play the games because they're not localized. But I highly recommend watching it because I was like, you know, Natsuki, he's the glasses character, but he's also very, like, sweet and adorable. And you're like, not normally the character I would fall for, but there's some shit that happens. And it's like, that makes a little more sense. The funniest there's like an episode with him and i'm just like this explains so fucking much and it's just goddamn one of the best episodes i think i've ever seen in my life of anything because it's so fucking out there and funny i highly recommend you watch anyway is that a fact what about your girl being surrounded by wolves over there huh i'm a kubo i get but she's attracted cena in the shijima too um, Harumi, you're gonna have to get used to it. This is a man harem. She's a good girl for sure, so I guess it's natural for her to attract so many guys. Mr. Hanai, do you mind joining us in a meeting over the roles? Oh, someone else said that. Mr. Hanai, do you mind joining us in a meeting over the roles? Maybe that was me. Sure, be right there. See you, Harumi. Make sure you rescue her before something happens. You're a man, you know. Good luck. They haven't seen each other in a while, so they're probably just catching up. Okay, somebody else called Hanai. I don't know. He's right that she attracts a lot of people with her charm and personality. Absolutely not something I do. No, wait! You can't have her attracting guys! Ugh. What am I thinking? I keep imagining things. All we need to do is focus on reality and realize nothing has happened. On closer inspection, Sina is strangely friendlier to Spacey than before. I don't know how that's possible. It looks like Kamakubo's standing next door as if to protect her. Sure, our relationship is a lie. I'm still supposed to be Spacey's boyfriend. To find the courage to act like it. For a minute, I kind of forgot that this was during the pretend, and I thought it was after the fact. Anyway, Harumi! Oh. I don't know who's saying, is there a problem? I just had an idea about that other plan we've been talking about. Oh, really? I don't think it'll solve all the issues, but it might get them to at least listen to us. I'm not sure it'll work out, but I do think... Oh, I'm not sure it'll work out, but I do think it's worth a shot. Let's hear it! Okay, well... There were too many people around, so we moved into the hallway. Um... Oh, <gasps> we're gonna CG! <gasps> Arumi, are you holding my face? What is happening? Oh no, that's us leaning and whispering. I was like, okay. I was like, that's our shirt, but I couldn't... It, My brain couldn't process that. Because for some reason, like, the way our face looked when they first zoomed in on it, it was like, 
We looked shocked, like someone's grabbing your face, and you'd be like, oh, I'm shocked, Harumi's holding my face. But, like, it's our hand. We're, like, leaning into a whisper to him. Spacey's leaning in so close. Look at how awkward and adorable he is, though. Our eyelashes are so long. I've been thinking, how about we show a different side of ourselves? Huh? I said, let's show a different side of ourselves. Yes, sorry. I heard you, but, um... Shoot, I can't take my eyes off her. She's being so serious. I need to be just as serious in return. You say that, do you mean... Yeah, it just came to me when I was talking with Sena. Sena's the inspiration? Is that a problem? No, never mind. Please go on. You calm down. But just hearing his name made me think of how close they were. I know this isn't a good comparison, but you know how everyone acted differently when they find out you liked anime? Then how about we do something similar, but in a positive way? We show them a side that attracts them rather than repels them. Although that means if they won't see us eye to eye, we'll have to stoop to their level to get their attention. Uh, I thought things might change for the better if we can talk things out by finding common ground with them. She really is something. Spacey's simply amazing. And back during the short film, she stayed determined and worked towards success without any fear of failure. Even now, she's getting tips from others and using her creativity to come up with ideas I would never think of. I'm going to make my own anime one day, but even so, I don't think I could ever compare to her. I don't want to give up anymore. I don't want her to leave me behind. You leave me behind! I mean, that's the normal ending, not the good ending, but still. Came back so hot, though. Just want to... Oh, I just want to help however I can so I can be proud of myself. I want to look toward a bright future and stay beside her. Mm, I think it's a great plan, but will they cooperate with us? I don't know. We'll have to ask and see. It's important they feel the same as you, Harumi. Right. We'll never know unless we ask. I'll go contact them. Okay, this is some when we did something with the, like, friend group or whatever, or the girls in the club. You know what I mean? Thank you. Then let's commence Operation TAS. We need to take action, too. Yeah, that. Whatever. I can't quite remember the logistics of it, but I remember. <gasps> Riku's feelings with Riku. Yay. And then we get to play with the voice acting. Are you excited? I'm not... Oh, it's probably Riku. Huh. I haven't slept this well in a while. I've been sleeping on the sofa all this time, but sleeping on the bed is something else entirely. You idiot. Wait. Someone else is sleeping on the sofa? Spacey. I must be dreaming. I gently touched the silhouette of the person I thought to be Spacey. She was real, all right. Sorry, I didn't itch. I had to fix it. Ah, oh, that's right. When we were rehearsing here yesterday, and then... And then... Um, and then... Uh... Oh, that's me. Huh? Probably. She's awake. She's thinking something. Exactly. That has to be it. Are you leaning over me on the sofa? What does it have to... Oh, that was me. Exactly! That has to be it! That was me then. Okay, sorry. What does it have to be? Oh my god, he's leaning over me on the sofa. Okay, this is... Okay, again! What? Okay, Harumi, I'm gonna need you to pin me to something. Because, like, everyone else has... Look at this, he's kind of pinning me to the sofa. I mean, he's a little close, and it's kind of like... Look at just how, like... Just... Okay. If you saw this CG of Riku without seeing the game... Or knowing the game, seeing the cover, anything. They just showed you, this is Riku from Lover Pretend. You'd be like, oh, he seems like the, like, oh, huh? He seems like the Sena character right now. There is just something in his face that is like, oh, you don't like it when I pin you? I'm going to need you to step away, sir. What? Is it making you all fluster? Like the flirty little teasy whore. That's what he looks like. There is something just so mischievous in his face and, like, sultry and, like, oh, I've got you right where I want you. Riku! What are you doing? I like it. <laughs> it's just so funny. Um, well, what are you doing in my room? Huh. 
It's unusual to see Spacey in a daze like this. I would have loved to have spent the night in your room. But unfortunately, this is actually my room. You must have slept over. Huh? You're right. After I put you to bed, I tried to go home, but I realized I didn't have your keys. See, I remember the scene. You were dead asleep, and I was worried about leaving without locking up. I don't like that the other ones, they stayed on the CG a little bit longer. Right. The keys. I'm sure they're around. Here they are. Okay, and they go back with the key. I was wondering if they were going to do this thing. Here you go. And now he's like, hey, got the keys. You can come whenever you want, baby. You know what I mean? There's just something so, like, sultry and naughty about his face. Oh, but I don't really need them anymore. And these are spares. We're engaged, so you might as well have one. Uh, okay. I'll keep them for now, I suppose. Sure. Well, I guess this is... I love his face. It's just, it's so not Riku, but it's Riku, but it's like, just totally like, Riku, you... God, I love it. Even though I understood the situation, I wanted to tease her a little and get a better view of her embarrassed expression. <gasps> no, you're absolutely... Okay, yeah, all right, this is new side of you. From the first time we slept together, and in my room, too... We only slept and completely separately from each other. <laughs> I what I worded it that way on purpose. I thought you might appreciate some romance. No thanks. You can turn it off when we're alone. Really? I feel much more at ease that way. Hmm. She wants me to act casually. If that's what you want, I won't say more than necessary then. What do you mean? If I'm being honest, I'd rather not talk to anybody. It's draining. If that's what you prefer, it's fine by me. How about breakfast? We still have ingredients from last night's dinner. Uh, no thanks, I'm not that hungry. But you'll collapse again! It doesn't matter, I'll just get you to help me again if that happens. Ugh. Even if you say that, I won't always be free. Let's eat properly, alright? Can't be bothered. <laughs> this is when we had to feed him. <laughs> Uh, I'll make you something light. You'll at least eat that, won't you? Hmm. Not surprising. Most people act insulted when someone says talking to them is tiring. So nonchalant. She's a strange one, to be sure. I watched her from a distance as she prepared something in the kitchen. Hi, Tiny Bird! Honestly, I didn't like having other people in my life, even though I was the one who asked her to pretend to be my fiancé. Talking to Tiny Bird downstairs. Maybe I was handling this better because she was actually actually acting like a fiancé. <laughs> Here you go. I made some sandwiches and yogurt. I thought eating the yogurt by hand would be too much for you, so I mixed it with milk and honey and made it into a smoothie. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, hmm. And this tastes good. And come to think of it, I haven't eaten anything like this in quite a while. Once you're done with that, are you going to campus? Yeah. I'll buy some stuff to eat. Oh. Oh, I'll buy some stuff to eat later. I don't think this will be enough. Is there anything you'd like to have? Milk and bananas. Besides that, something with meat or veggies. Get an egg roll. I'll eat that with one hand. I don't cook. I wouldn't mind having another sandwich like this, though. Hmm. I have to cook my... For myself anyway, so I'll make some for you while I'm at it. I can store it in your fridge for later. Microwaving isn't too much trouble, is it? Hmm. I guess I'll have what she makes... I guess I'll have what she makes for me cold and as is. Alright, well, I should get going. Oh, don't play this that nice. You be mean. Hey, wait. Yeah? I want you to do something for me tomorrow. I'm sorry, Professor Asagi has a lecture tomorrow. I have to help and then go to work. I'm pretty sure I bookmarked it on my phone. Ah, here it is. And not like that. I want help with this. I asked Spacey to buy the stage ticket, and she nodded in response. I didn't it didn't take her long to notice something when she accessed the website. I see, but general tickets were on sale earlier, right? Why didn't you get one then? I did, but I couldn't go because of work, so I gave it to Sena. To Sena? 
Yeah, we got to chatting and he sounded like he might be interested. But look, I wonder if she's thinking about Sena. Why does that bother me? I'll make it two tickets, by the way. Oh, got it. Two tickets, then. Are you going with a friend? Nope. I'm going with my fiancé. Oh, your fiancé- Wait, that's me! Who else would it be? Oh, when's the next time we're both free? Just a moment. I'm looking at times when you're off and I'd be able to come. Oh, this should work. Uh, then book us for that day. Uh, this should cover it. You've got it. They should be contact- Oh. They should be contacting the cast of the movie soon and the script should almost be finished. Oh, that was actually Riku saying that. Anyway, they should be contacting the cast of the movie soon and the script should almost be finished. Whatever. I thought we should go before we both get too busy. That is, if I'm chosen. Right. I invited her out on a whim, but she still agreed to come along. And then again, it's likely because she's obligated to do so. I'm excited to go with you. Huh? Hmm? Oh! I, uh, I mean, that's something a fiancé would say! Oh, yeah. Is it just me, or is Spacey blushing? Did it sound off for a fiancé? She's flushed all right. Is she embarrassed? I never knew she could look this way. No, it was perfect. But that's a relief! I'll get those tickets no matter what, so I hope you're excited about going! Sure, I am. She can't wait to go with me, eh? I suppose she is cute when she's blushing like that. Hmm. You must be excited to see this play. Huh? Oh no, that was... Okay, you must be excited to see this play. Huh? I get confused. You looked happy just now. Really happy. Did I? Yeah. I look happy. I can't tell myself. I guess being with someone as unique as her can change anyone. Even me. How adorable. Aww! Hi, bird! Alright, hold on. You have to hold on a second. I need to do something. You're gonna have to move for a teeny bit. Alright, so. I'm going to pause. You won't even know I'm gone. You might know I'm gone, because we'll come back in a hot second. I'm going to adjust the volumes and everything like that so we can listen to the voice acting and make sure everything sounds good. And then we'll pop back in. So I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so we're back. I turned off the background music because I had I turned up the volume on the capture card, you know, to make sure that you could hear the voices. And then the music is just really loud. It's either like off or like loud. Like when you turn up to so that you can get the voices and hear them. So I was like, it's fine. We want a background music. I'll try to remember to go turn it back on before we like look at the last CG. This way it's not just dead silence. But sometimes it ends up being that way anyway. Whatever. So we're here. I had started doing this, but then I realized like, I was like, maybe I want to check the sound again. And then I realized you could hear my TV, even though it's very silent. My microphone is picking it up. So he was echoing. So I'm, we're just going to do it again. Um, the good thing is the interesting part is when we click on these, like right now on under his profile information, it's going to pop up text. So you're going to have to read along. Okay. I'm not going to read it back afterward. Cause I'm like, it only pops up while they're talking. So you're going to have to read while he's talking. Unless you don't give a crap what he's saying, then whatever. But anyway, um, so I went through this before, but I still find it amusing. So I'm going to be just as amused as two seconds ago when I read it the first time. But Kazuma is voiced by Makoto Furukawa, who is Yoritomo from Birushana, Lugis from Psychedelic of the Ashen Hawk, Alan from Cupid Parasite, Krius from Even If Tempest, and Adage from Steam Prison, and I just find that fucking hilarious. Because if you put Yoritomo, Lugus, Alan, Krius, and Adage together and was like, same voice actor, you'd be like, yeah, okay, I can kind of see it. Yeah. Kind of serious, sexy kind of character. Krius, fuck's sake, goddammit, Krius. And then you put Kazuma in that group, and you're like, one of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong, you know? And it's like a fucking Sesame Street skit. And can you find out which one of these things is not like the other by the time I finish this song? Shit that you watched when you were really young sticks with you for forever. Bard, don't attack me. You're being a jerk. I will throw you downstairs. Come here. No, you go downstairs. You biting. Go downstairs. Go. No, I don't want you to go downstairs. Come here. Come here. Go downstairs. Go down. Okay. Um, 
I'll be right back. I lost the bird. You went to another room. Bird! Hold on. Dear God. Bird! I don't want to, like, stop the recording and restart and do this all over. Oh, sweet Jesus. Bird, come here! I can't go around the corner. Oh, my God. I was trying to get him to go downstairs because he was, like, biting my head while I was sitting here. So, hold on a second. Good freaking God! I love him, but he's a pain in my ass. <laughs> Okay, so I go walk around the corner. I turn my headset, put a headset, walk around, and he flies around the corner and down the stairs. So he was just being an asshole. I don't know where he was in that bedroom. He got lost in my second bedroom. But like, well, one of my guest bedrooms. But like, he like, I, I don't know why he flew in there. I don't know if he's ever been in there before. I think he has been. But like, he's never flown in there on his own. So, like, no sooner do I stop to go around the corner and be like, all right, I'll rescue him. He's like, flies out around the corner, down the stairs. He's downstairs now. Like, what the fuck? Anyway. So. <sighs> Birds, man. Anyway. So, yeah. I just find it funny that Cosima is absolutely just the odd man out here. It's fun as shit. But anyway. So, we're going to go in. So, when I click to read his profile over here, he's going to tell you all about himself, that his name's Cosima, that he's 20 years old, his birthday is 618, his height is 179 centimeters, 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 Whatever. centimeters, his blood tape is B, and his occupation is a stylist, and then you can read all the little things he says. So are you ready? Let's go. Pay attention. Tamikubo Kazuma, 誕生日は6月18日。身長は179センチで、え、意外とでかい?で、血液型は I'm taller than I look taller than I or I'm taller than I look. Uh thanks, I guess. <laughs> All right, hobbies. Karaoke. Shimi wa karaoke. Ogoe de utatte ると, moyamoya shita kimochi ga paatto hareru da yo na. It's just funny when you think of like Prius and like Yoritomo and like and Alan. Like I just it's just so weird. <laughs> Skills, knitting, portrait sketching, knitting, huh? じつは俺、人物のスケッチ得意なんだよな。ほら、メイクって顔のパーツを観察するだろう。だから自然とな。あとは編み物か。これはお前と一緒にばあちゃんに習ったからな。手先を細かく動かす練習にもいいんだぜ
That's so adorable and sweet and innocent. Love message from her good ending. ずっとお前のことが好きだったんだと思う。お前を一人にしたくないとか言いつつ、本当は俺が一緒にいて欲しかっただけなのかもな。だから、まっさらな気持ちでお前と向き合いたいんだ。Cute. Now the love message from our happy end. It's got to be so much more rushy. Oh. Oh. Oh.そればっかだったけど。でも、下手れな俺を支えてくれて、本当は、お前が強いやつだって、今ではよくわかる。けど、これからもお前のことを心配しまくって。俺も心配かけることもあるだろうけど。とにかく、俺の愛の深さ、思い知らせてやるぜ。愛してるぞ。Like, hello? See, that! That's the voice that you expect in all those other characters, and then there's Kazuma, and then there's that, and you're like, I'm sorry, sir, what? Cosmo, when you get serious, it's sexy. I can only imagine now the scene where he's got you pinned against that fish tank and he's like, I'm just a jerk. You're like, I can imagine how sexy you sounded in that moment. And I was already sold, sir, but I'd sell it again, I guess. <laughs> Yukito Sena. All right. Actually, well, now this is all out of order. Yukito, where is he in here? Tatsuhitsa Suzuki. Akuro and Dairoku. Hmm. Ranmaru and Utapri. Okay. I know from watching Utapri that Ranmaru has the deepest fucking voice imaginable. Like, okay. We haven't played that. We haven't, we can't do, well, none of the other ones that we've played. So he hasn't been in anything else because the other ones like Diabolic Lovers. I think it's one of the later ones. One of the other, like, fan discs where they add extra characters. We can't play that because it's not in English. Shinobi Koi, we haven't played. And the other ones, we haven't. So those are the only characters he's been in anything. And only Utapri, you'd have to watch the anime. But I already suggested that you do it. So I'm just saying. It's worth it. Um, but anyway, so now we get to hear about Yukito Sana, Age 24, birthday 26, height 185 centimeters, blood type O, occupation, fashion model. セナユキト、2月6日生まれの24歳。身長は185センチ。で、血液型は大型。仕事はファッションモデルやらせてもらってます。自分で言うのもなんだけど、若手の中じゃ不動の人気ナンバーワンだよ。It's interesting because like I'm pretty sure if I I mean it's been a while since I've watched Utopri. There's like a hint of the, like the nasal in his voice. You know what I mean? Ranmaru did not have that. And I don't remember Akuro having that either. So it's like interesting that he did that for Yukito. I think I could have done without that. Because there's something about like usually like, like the bro dudes. Like usually the Cosma characters. There's something about, there's just a tone in their voice. I'm like, see, it's that. There's something about that that I'm not a fan of. It's also like a lot of the female characters in anime, unfortunately. It's like they have a sexy voice or they have the high pitch, really kind of grates on your nerve voice. And there's something about the tone of it that just, it's personal. It's me personally. Like, uh, I don't, I don't know. So I'm, uh, I don't know. I think you could have done, I, considering the fact that I'm trying to think like, what I remember of the voices we've heard. I can't remember Akuro, but I don't, I remember the voice I gave him. So maybe that's what I'm thinking, but like, I'm pretty sure Ranmaru had like just a deep kind of, and you're like, sir, wow. Not where this has like a little bit of like, like the nasally hint to it. I would have preferred he didn't do that in this. Cause I think it would have, but then again, Yukito is actually kind of very flippant. And so I guess it works, but I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, hobbies, shopping, night strolling. Kihon, 
まあ夜遊びは生活のルーティーンって感じかな人と会って話してって楽しいでしょ Like, you, it's just that it's that slight tone in it that's just not my favorite. But I know if you took that tone out, it would be perfect. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know that you've got a good voice under there, but there's just something about the presentation for Yukito that I'm like, eh, I don't hate it. I'm not like, God, no, stop it. This is not. My brain just fucking broke. Um, well, I can't, now I can't remember the character name, but you know what I'm talking about. You've seen it. And I was like, no, stop it. How dare you? No, that's wrong. Like, usually you're like, yeah, okay, so my favorite voice, but it works for the character. But there's only like very few instances. I'm like, stop it. That's illegal. No, I don't like it. Stop it. I don't like it. I don't mind it. But I guess it's not what I was expecting. I'm like, eh, it's all right. It's okay. It's a personal thing. It's me personally. You know what I mean? Like, there's some voices that you're like, no,、nope, can't do it. Anyway, skills, dance. I'm not a street or a hip hop. 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 Box text box wasn't over his face, so you could like kind of see, um, look at him while he's making while he's talking. But anyway, it's not there are certain points where you're like, no, okay, all right, I'm there. It's just like other ones. So I'm like, I'm I'm iffy on it. Like, I don't hate it, but I'm not like, god damn, yes. I'm like,、eh. I'm not mad about it, but I feel like I could love it, but I, you know, anyway, favorite food, pizza, carbonated drinks. Um, check. 本当は甘い系の炭酸が飲みたいんだけどフルーツフレーバーで我慢ねモデルですからカフェラテは砂糖の代わりに蜂蜜でよろしくでピザで一番好きなのはチーズ多めのマルゲリータあ美味しいイタリアンの店知ってるからさ今度一緒に行こっかこの2つはなんか苦手なんだよねピーマンは苦いしセロリは癖あるしさうんでも君の手料理でなら克服できるかもユキト I agree with you on celery it's the worst except for it's like licking Satan's asshole it's disgusting I also don't like bananas I don't hate bananas but I really just don't like bananas and celery overpower fucking everything that they're in You put a teeny bit of celery in, and you're like, it's like licking Satan's asshole. Why is this terrible? And I know people are going to be like, how would you know what Satan's asshole tastes like? It tastes like celery. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Sometimes you just know things, okay? But like bananas is like, I don't hate bananas, but you put them, it's like, oh my God, is this smoothie? It's so peanut buttery. And it's like, all I taste is bananas. You know how like there's that gene where like, um, what's it? The thing, the thing, the thing. Oh my god, my god, my brain is broken. I can't remember names or words. Not celery. All I can think of is celery, but you know what I mean. It tastes like soap. What's the fucking herb that tastes like soap? Anyway, but there's like random people like, I hate it. It tastes like soap. I feel like I have a weird gene where it's like banana and celery overpowers everything. I love peanut butter. So, bananas, like, put peanut butter and celery in there. No, all I taste is the celery. I don't taste the peanut butter. I literally have to put a pound of peanut butter on it in order to not taste the celery. It ruins it for me. I love peanut butter. Why would I ruin peanut butter like that? Like, oh, these peanut butter, they all are going to taste like is chocolate. That's why I do not like peanut butter cups. I love Reese's, but I only like Reese's, like, when they're in the shapes. I don't like the cups because it's too much chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate unless it's dark chocolate. And they stopped making the dark chocolate peanut butter cups because why? I swear to God, that was like 20 fucking years ago. Anyway, favorite music genre, Western hip hop. Dance no e k y o kana. d o t c h i g a saki dat tok ke. Ma i ka. A to a tamani RB to ka mo. Tempo e k y o kwa ki ter dake de. Tension a g a r u n d a yo ne. You know what it is? There's something about his voice. Not the nasally. It's also slightly whiny, which I just don't. 
I mean, I guess kind of works for you. Could you like, hey, I'm just like, whatever. Like, he's just trying to play off and play cool. So I guess it kind of works. But again, it's not my favorite. Daily routine, drinking carbonated water in the morning. <laughs> you know, okay. The Yukito voice that we're hearing, this is what I expect of, I'm not saying that Kazuma wasn't perfect because that he was very excitable and it was great. But this is usually the kind of voice that goes with Kazuma characters. You know what I mean? Not like the Yukito character, so it's interesting. Dream destination, favorite bar. Do you think the buddy that owns a bar is his dad? <laughs> Love message, good end. だから Sorry, I was distracted. I like that better. こんなこと言うのは、らしくないかもしんないけど。本当君には感謝してるんだ。役者になる夢を後押ししてくれて、自然体でいられる場所になってくれて。だから、もっと自然体になって、もっと素直に君への気持ちを押し出していくから。覚
You can hear a slight excitement in his voice. I love it. Skills, memorization. Harumi's winning points just for the voice, too. Because, like, I, you know, I'm here for it. I like it. ただ見て覚えればいいだけなのでそれでもすごい尊敬するあああなたはすぐそうやって人をからかう It definitely is like it suits him I think be like because he's like kind of like soft and sweet and he's got this voice that like I feel like later when he comes back older, you're like, stop it with the voice and the sexy Harumi. But right now it works because you're like, it's like soft and gentle, just like he's a little delicate. I love it. Favorite food, rice balls, sticky to toffee pudding. Onigiri wa ryugaku chun ni yoku tabemashita. Yappari nihon shok ga natsukashikute. Sticky toffee pudding wa gaku shok no ga zeppin de. Kondate ni aru hi wa skoshi dake waku waku shite tan desu. Are dake wa can you hear him smiling when he talks about the toffee pudding? You're like, oh, I can, like, I can hear the smile in your voice. It's adorable. What is happening to me? Anyway, least favorite food, mashed potatoes. ]流学中毎食食べさせられて考えただけでお腹がいっぱいに <laughs> I love that why he hates them. There's just too many of them. Favorite music, music genre, classical and anime songs. Classical music is a good thing. I think it's 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 a good thing. I don't know what it is, but like, Cosmo was definitely excitable about stuff, but there's something about Harumi getting really excited. What? You wanna? Okay, I'll burn him in a CD! Like, there's just something about him getting excited is so adorable. Stop it. Daily routine reading classical Japanese literature. ]留学中日本語が恋しくて読み始めたのが最初です。初めは難しくてよくわかりませんでしたけど、でも分かってくると登場人物の凛々しさや。友情、努力、勝利とか、現代の作品に通じるものがたくさんあるんです。Dream destination, private places. Harumi, sir. 人混みとかも苦手ですし、一人だと安心できるというか、でも最近はあなたのそばが一番。ややっぱり何でもありません。I like this. I think this is a great way to like listen to the voice acting instead of like skipping through scenes. You just get them to say their things. Like this is fun. I wish all all the other games had these. You know what I mean? Love message from a good ending. やっと約束を果たせました。夢を追いかける間、何度も俺かけて、その度あなたの写真を何度も見て、会えない間もあなたは俺の背中を押してくれた。今こうしていられるのはあなたのおかげなんだそうして今またあなたの前に立つことができましたあなたが大好きですあなたが大好きです。Stop it! That's from our good end when he came back after like five years looked hot as shit and then he's saying that that's the sweetest thing ever. What is wrong with me? Anyway, happy, ma happy, uh, love message from our happy end. あなたと出会っていろんな感情を知った。嬉しい気持ちも胸が詰まるような苦しい思いもあなたを好きにならなければきっと何も知らないまま殻に閉じこもったままだった。でもあなたが俺の世界を。明るく照らしてくれてこうして今あなたの隣にいられるあなたを愛してるだから絶対に離さないよ 
I think his messages are the best so far. They're just so like, you're like, my God, they're intense. You do watch a lot of anime. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, damn. Like, sir, come on. Those are beautiful. All right. Boy Riku. I feel like I shouldn't be surprised by this. Well, I mean, because like I kind of like glanced at, I kind of forgot, I think, because I always glance at like the voice actors beforehand, but Amoki Maeno was Lupin from Code Realize. Red from Taisho Ellis. Amu from Ut Utapri. Again, you should just watch Utapri. Like, all these people are there. Anyway, Radius from Period Cube. And Keisuke Sanjo, which is a side character in Color X Malice. Oh, and he's going to be in Winter's Wish, too. Look at that. But Lupin! We <laughs> I feel like, did I, did I know that in the beginning where I was like, we should have given Rico the Lupin voice because he is Lupin, but like, whatever. But I clearly fucking forgot because I was like, oh! You know, I feel like, has it been, like, a hot minute since he's been in anything? I mean, yeah. Period Cube. Well, Color X Malice, but you were a side character, so not even anyone important. You know what I mean? You were Lupin. And then there were, but there's, like, but I feel like, okay. It's just, Lupin was a defining character in picking voices. So we have the Lupin voice. Yeah. <laughs> have the Impy voice. We have the Saint Germain, well, and we... And we have the Van Helsing voice. They're just certain voice tropes that we gave them. You know? For a while, the Lupin voice has been carrying us through <laughs> for like eight fucking years. <laughs> uh, uh, we couldn't have the flirty horror boys without the Lupin voice. Anyway, so here we go. Riku Nishijima, 25 years old. Birthday, 1014. Height, 182 centimeters. Blood type, AB. Occupation, actor. But wants to do art stuff. Nishijima Riku. 25歳。え it's so funny because it works for him because it just sounds so unaffected. You know what I mean? And then I'm sitting here because I can see Lupin in the background because, like, I've got my cards that came with. Uh, I would realize, like, up on my shelf. So I'm just looking and I'm like, yeah, it's so funny. Because, like, he definitely is just like, yeah, what? Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> it just sounds so disaffected, which works for Riku perfectly. Anyway, hobbies, touring art galleries and museums. オフの時間があんまり取れないから見に行く時はいろんなところをはしごするかなそれでインスピレーションをもらったらそれを自分の作品に反映するそういうのが僕のやり方かも It works for him. It's perfect. Skills, DIY. 特技って言っていいのか微妙だけど インタビューで聞かれた時に答えやすいからとはいえ物作りは好きだし頭の中に描いたものがイメージ通りに組み上がっていくとワクワクするよね Cuz it's like I I it does work perfectly for him cuz there's like the softness and the deep like oh I'm just there's a calmness but it's also like oh what okay and you're like you can kind of just tell it's like unlike Kazuma who's just excited about stretching Riku is over here like, yeah, okay, so I'm just giving you the perfect answers and responses in the totally, like, interview voice. I like it. It works for him. Favorite food, bananas and milk. Banana. It's a bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Least favorite food, shellfish. Getting slightly passionate there, but still in a very, like, refined way, like a toned down. Favorite music genre, nature sounds. 
けど雨が降ってきた音とかそういうのは嫌いじゃないかな最近はネットで焚き火の音とか聞いてる He's such a weird little bean. I love him. Daily routine meditation. Sleeping is not meditation, Riku. Meisouwa, boku ni tot teno. Jibun ni modoru tame no jikan. Yoku kimi ga yu de shou? Switch off toka. Masa ni sore. Again, that's what you do is sleeping. Dream destination, art museum or a history museum. Jibun ni inspiration wo kureru basho ni iru to. テンションも上がるし、創作意欲も湧いてくるしね。それに、美術館や博物館って静かでしょ。He's still very like taught, like keeping it restrained, but there's slightly more excitement. Like, oh, art museums. Like, there's a little bit. Sweetie, you can let your excitement out, but like, there was just a little bit more excitement in that than like, oh, I'm just going to talk about. Oh, let me introduce myself. And there's like, oh, I like art museums. Yeah, we could go to what? Like, Love message, good ending. Okay. I'm expecting this to be like steamy, like just with his voice. Boku no koi bito ni natte kudasai. So itta toki, chibun demo odoroku kurai, kodo ga oki kute, kimi ga ito oshi kute. Sore de, yappari boku wa koi o shitan da te omotta. Boku ni, iron na kimochi o oshie te kurete, arigato. 僕に恋を教えてくれてありがとう改めて言わせて大好きだよ Nope, not at all as I was expecting I like it though because it's not like it wasn't like I'm going to be romantic it's like you just you talk and like there was like the little bit the happiness just the little the little just tiny inflection of like oh you're letting yourself go sweetie you're not all perfect and giving the perfect answers it's like oh I'm really excited like Excitement in there. It was so innocent and sweet. I'm here for it. I dig it. Okay. Love message happy end. It's like, it's kind of like, okay, but Riku is just Riku. Okay. He's a little odd duck. But like, you can tell, like, in the very beginning, oh, you want me to, okay, let me do the interview voice. And then his, like, this is his extremely excited voice. There's barely a difference, but it's subtle enough that it's there. And you're like, I know he's really excited right now. And you're like, how can you tell? He's like, just pitch is slightly different. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. All right, let's see what the happy ending love message has in store for us. Kimi no omoi de ni naritaku nai te omotta toki. Sore wa dou shite darou te kangae tanda. Sono toki wa mada. Kono omoi ni namae ga tsukerare na kute. Demo, Kimi o tebanasu no dake wa iya da. Tada so omotta. So shita ra, 急に世界に色がついて気がついた僕は恋に落ちたんだって愛してる僕は君のものだ I love you and I belong only to you that got me I read ahead cause like I was reading before we finished that's why I was oh I actually kind of like that it subverted my expectations because I was fully expecting I'm going to get really sexy with my voice. Never happened, but it was like there was just this innocent happiness in just the subtle undertones. And I'm like, you know what? I'm actually here for it. I was really expecting like, I want a sexy, nice voice. And you didn't give it to me. But you know what? This works because like for Riku being like, I am very serious. And then being like, There's that little little bit of joy underneath. I like it. I like it a lot. Good job. Okay. Anyway, so Asagi, Hoshiyuki Murakawa. I don't think we've ever had him in anything. Yoshiwara Higanbana, which we can't play because I'll never localize it, but they really want to. Let's see. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Nothing. Oh. Uh, Psychedelic of the Ashen Hawk, Olga. Okay, that's it. In Kamigami no Asobi as well. Okay, so interesting. But nothing we've played. So, like, nothing that you. Ha uh ha. -huh. Also in Token Rambu. Shin Megami Tensei. That's a long time. Black Wolf Saga. Arles. Arles? 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 We haven't. I don't think we can play that because that's an Atome game, right? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Anyway. 
There is one that I swear keeps coming. I feel like that's it that keeps coming, getting mentioned, but it's one of those like not. <sighs> so many not localized games. Look at you making a start here. Or just at least, I mean, Otome Kitten's really good at putting in like the games that you've played or like well known kind of things. Maybe not by me, but I just mean by most people. So if he'd been in something else that had been localized, it would have been in there. So. Ichiro Asagi, 32 years old. Okay, so, all right, we pegged his age, right? We're like, what, 22 and he's like 32? Okay. We'll wait. 20. Okay, so we're probably like 19 or 20 as well, because we'd be the same age as, so, okay, 12 years older. You know what? I'm not going to rag on that. I dated someone 12 years younger than me. I wasn't 32 and they weren't 20. It was only slightly different than that. They were older than 20. Okay, whatever. But, you know, eh. It's the, it's the college, it's only when he's like, oh, I'm like a grandpa to you. Okay, stop doing that. That makes it gross. Otherwise, it's not, you know? They just kept, like, I think they said it like three times, but it's like, just don't say that. Just don't bring it up. Birthday, 7'7". Seven, seven. Height, 181 centimeters. Blood type B. Occupation, script writer, college professor. All right. Impress me. Because I've watched Kamigami no Wasabi, so. Asagi Eiichiro desu. 7月7日生まれの<笑> I'm here for it. There's like that the deepness where it's got the slight purring going on, but it's still not not in a deep sexy. It's like a deeper, but it's in a perky kind of way. Like I you know what I mean? Like it's more of a it, Okay, is it weird to say it's like a gentle deep purring voice? Does that make sense? Like you can hear the like sometimes when like when you get the growling kind of voice, you get that purr or the growl, that deep throaty kind of thing. But, like, he's got that, but it's in a, like, like, in a more perky register. It's very, but I don't know how to describe, but you, I mean, I think you get it, because you've heard his voice, but it's, I'm, I'm interested, okay? This is very intriguing. I'm here for this. It's very different. Hobby is walking. Tadadesae,脚本家は座り仕事だからね。運動不足解消も兼ねて、行き詰まったりした時にも、気分転換に外に出るようにしてるかな。Okay, it's not so much of as, as much as I was thinking with the last part. But still, it's there. There's like, it's just, it's in between. It's in that, like, where you're like, you could definitely get that grip. Honestly, yes, I know you can, because I've, Kamigami no Masa, you definitely have, like, the deep growling voice going on, if I remember correctly. And then, like, so this is just interesting. I'm here. I like it. I like it. Okay. Skills. Tennis. I te you nara tennis ka na. 高校の時は部活に入っていてね。大学まではやっていたんだ。仕事を始めてからはさっぱりだから。また時間ができたら久しぶりにやりたいな。I think it's like it's you could turn on the sex with this voice. You know what I mean? But then he's like, "Oh, no, I'm sweet and nice." You're like, "You've got such a sweet, nice calming like approachable kind of voice but you could turn on the sex in a second that's what it is favorite food beef stew with potatoes odin odin to nikujaga wa kodomo no koro haha ga yoku tsukutte kurete ne demo kimi ga tsukutte kureta ano nikujaga ajitsuke ga sugoku watashi gonomi datta nda yokatta ra mata zehi tsukutte hoshii na and then he's getting a little like, I, I like the food that you make. You're making again. Stop it, sir. Anyway, least favorite food, awful stew. Awful stew? いい年して苦手なんて恥ずかしいのだけれど、どうもあの独特な感触がね。いや、頑張って食べようとした時もあったんだ。けど、今はもう諦めたよ。I shouldn't be picky at my age. Sir, you can be picky at any age! Favorite music genre, pop songs. 懐かしいメロディーや繊細な歌詞が好きでね。執筆の気分転換なんかによく聞くんだ。昭和のアイドル曲も聞くよ。
It's cute. Daily routine. Walks. <laughs> For a zombie, walking. Shumito kabutte shimau keredo. Sampo ga nikka kana. Jitsua asa ga yowakute ne. Mochiron, undo mo kanete iru keredo. Dochira ka to yeba, asa no sampo wa atama o okos no ga mokte ki kana. Dream destination, neighborhood parks. They're also simple with their dream destinations. Most people are like, I don't know, some kind of really cool tropical island. And he's like, I'd go to a park. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. The voice acting could have been a part in itself. This part's long. <laughs> Anyway, love message normal end. Oh, ずっと。ずっとね。<笑> I hate that because it reminded me of how much I hate it. The normal end, everybody gets together, and this one is like, it's the first and last time I'll ever hold you. Stop it! Don't hurt me like that! Oh, God. We should have done his voice acting first so it didn't hurt. Love message, happy end. Oh. End with something good, sir. Please don't hurt me like that again. It was the happy end, so it should be. I was a child.君を支える立場だと思っていた。けれど、兄弟かもしれないとなった時、君はまっすぐに思いを伝えてくれた。それがどれほど俺を救ってくれたか。どうべ。もしあれがなければ、今でも後悔の海に沈んだままだったろう。I told you you could turn on the sex in his voice. Stop it. It sounded so good and it was just so beautiful. Stop it. I'm gonna cry. God damn you. How dare you? Okay, well, anyway. There we go. <laughs> Um, the weird thing is, is, oh, there we go. The completion seat. Stop it. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, first of all, we have to see Kazuma's, like, two CGs. Um, look at that. Oh, and then the other one was the heli hand holding. So we had to look at that one. That's cute. No. And we get to look at Yukito's single one. But, like, hot. God, stop it! Pin me to the wall, you sexy son of a bitch. It's a really good one. I'm sad we couldn't have ended on this one on his route. We probably should have done those endings, but too late now. Can't go back in time. And if I could go back in time, that's not what I go. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, this was literally the best fucking CG in the game. <laughs> The best CG in the game! It's a Rumi coming back after five years! What the shit? You can't do that, sir! Oh my god. Aww. Oh my god, seriously though. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait to see this last... I mean, again though, Riku doing this is like... He's just like, let me pin you to the bed. You know what? Now I believe the Lupin voice coming out of you. <laughs> If it was our loop and voice, which we kind of gave to Santa, but slightly tweaked version. We've adapted as we've come, but good God. And then he's like, did you want your keys back? I know it's his keys, but still. Like, you can't give me this look, sir. Good God. Ugh. And we've already seen Asagi's last one. And then my favorite. Okay, well, we can look at these because we haven't looked at these yet, so. Us remembering our mom. Oh, Hanai. How cute. Everybody hanging out. This one didn't have a second one. Oh, it did. Oh, yeah, because then there's a Sagi. There he is. And Hanai in the background. You only get his 
chest, but you know, have fun with that. <laughs> oh, this is so cute, but Asagi's not there. And then, like, I was going to say, this one did have a difference, yeah. Oh, Isn't that one, too? Oh, right, where he changed his hair color. Okay. Oh, my God. I love this. What are you doing? What are these outfits? Why are you assassins? Stop it. Look at Asagi over there being like the fucking mad evil genius. Those glasses are hot as shit. You can't do that. I love it so much. Arumi doesn't even look like Arumi. I love this. I don't get it. It makes no sense. Seriously, it's like, what? what I, if you were playing some kind of like period piece game or something, this might make, but this makes no sense. But I love it. Like, what, are they, what are they doing? Are we going to a cosplay? Are we going to an anime convention? Is this cosplay? What's happening? I don't know, but I'm here for it. I love it when they make no sense. You're like, I don't know why we're wearing these costumes. I, I feel like this happens in some other games too, where it's like they just slap them in some kind of a different wardrobe. It's totally not relevant to the game. And you're like, what is I? Okay. I'm, I'm here for it. I love it. This is great. Uh, this was a grand time. I had a lot of fun. So yeah. Um, I normally put up a poll to see what you want to play next. I did not this time because every time I've put up a poll, um, the games that have gotten voted on the ones that come out on the top, the one that always is just squeaking underneath is Butterfly's Poison. I know there's a lot of people that want to play that one. So I was like, you know what? We will do that one next regardless. So that's why there's no poll. If you're watching these, binge watching these years into the future and not watching it like around the time it goes up, this makes no sense to you. It doesn't matter to you. But for anyone that actually watches these as they're kind of posting or, you know, whatever, roughly around time, not two years from now, um, that's what will be coming next so yeah i'm kind of excited but it'll be a couple of weeks obviously not for you it'll be not tomorrow but the day after you know how this goes it's every other day um but yeah so i'm excited to start it i know a lot of people have been wanting it it has been on the poll for the last couple but this squeaked out over it um and then amnesia later in crowd kind of squeaked out over it. So I was like, it keeps coming in second in these polls. So like, you know, amnesia later crowd was always in there, but it was with the stipulation of as long as I finish the first one again, which, you know, so, but yeah, butterflies poisons always kind of squeaking right under the radar there above some of the other things that we've put in. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put in another new game. And then that one comes out, And then the people that have been butterflies poison. And it's like, <laughs> keep putting you off for three years. So, you got what you wanted, which is fine, because, like, I have too many games to make decisions for myself right now. We have got a backlog, and it's June, so the backlog, is it July when this is posting? When do these go up? Oh, my God. We might be into July already. It's June as I'm recording this. Um, But, yeah, we've got quite the Otome game backlog coming out this summer, so... I already have two games sitting there, not to mention there's at least two on my Switch. Plus the 30 that I've had on Steam for fucking forever. But if we're just going with, you know, the regular ones, I've got at least five games in the backlog <laughs> right now. And it's only going to get worse. <laughs> I'm excited, though. That's awesome. It's just going to keep like we're going to have to pick and choose what we play. So. But yeah. Butterflies Poison next. And I had a blast. This game was a lot of fun. Um, I think we need like the light, fluffy, kind of cutesy ones every once in a while. And this one was great. Let's just come over here and appreciate, like, look at this man. What the shit, sir? Oh, I just, I need to make sure that the, <laughs> it wasn't going to go gray, but I just, like, my screen wasn't going to go dark. But like, God, he's so hot. You know, I love you even more now. Look at you. Those glasses are perfect. They gave you glasses, but these are the sexy glasses. Just saying. Anyway, I will see you guys around in other things. I hope you enjoyed this. I told you that I was going to turn the music on and I forgot. So let's go do that before we, you know, look at the thing. So yeah, that should be loud enough. Yes. There we go. 
I... Oh, hi, sexy son of a bitch. How dare you? Photos. There we go. There you go! Whoops. I meant to hide it. Okay, so anyway... <laughs> I hope you had fun. I know I did. Um, I'm just going to turn this down a teeny bit because it's extremely loud. But yeah. So I will see you guys around in other things. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more.